G'day everyone and welcome back to NS2HD. This video is a bit light-hearted, it's a bit of fun, but that's appropriate because it's the weekend, so we should all be having fun. Uh, this video is about the Lurk, but it's not a tutorial or a commentary or an examination of abilities, it's just a bit of fun, and it'll make more sense if I just get straight into it. There's been some comments doing the round on my channel page and on my videos and on the forums that I'm a terrible Lurk pilot. Oh, guys, come on. Seriously, but alright, I admit it, I'm a, I'm a pretty terrible lurk pilot. And apart from you guys noticing, one of the NS2 developers noticed as well. Mark Newton, aka Sergeant Barlow, is a map designer, level designer, and creator, and general go-to guy at Unknown Worlds. He is seriously intelligent when it comes to NS2. He knows everything about the game. Ask him a question on the forums, and he'll be able to answer in five seconds flat. Seriously, go and try it right now, on the forums, right now. Anyway, he said to me, NS2HD, I have got to teach you how to fly a lurk. Just look at you, you just, you, you don't know what you're doing. So I said, alright, show me how to fly a lurk. And he said, it's a very new, nuanced thing, flying a lurk. There's a lot of tricks to it, and it's a little bit of skill-based movement, which I'll, I'll get back to that term later. And he said, join up my, uh, my server, and get into spectator mode, and get into third person view, and just watch what I do. So I did that. But before I did that, I recorded this because I thought, I'm not that bad, am I? So I'll leave it to you guys to review the footage that has been playing while I've been talking, and you can tell me if I'm a, if I'm a terrible lurk part. Anyway, so I joined Mark's server, and this is what I saw. A lurk flying beautifully smoothly the whole way around uh, the Rockdown map, without hitting anything, without stopping, without slowing down, going very, very fast, and not making any sound. And Mark pointed out to me that you do this by doing only two taps of the spacebar, and then forevermore holding spacebar down. And this is, they call it glide, but it's sort of more of a, you can see the wings still flap, so it's not really a glide in the sense that, I don't know, a bird would glide, or a plane would glide. It's glide in the sense that you don't modify the lurks movement with the space bar, so he only gently flaps, and there he finally came to a stop there after about one and a half laps of not stopping, so that was pretty impressive, and he told me to do this, you've got to become a lurk, tap gently twice off the ground, and then basically point your view up and down. Now I was never the greatest lurk pilot in NS1, in fact I was mainly a gorge most of the time, so this was pretty new to me if you can believe it or not. So I started flying around tram and actually having a go at flying up and down as a lurk. It was a lot of fun. I actually built up some speed, hit these pesky doors, but it was a lot of fun, and I came to the conclusion that this is skill-based movement. Now, a lot of competitive players in games like to say that skill-based movement should always be included, and one of the most popular examples of quasi-skill-based movement is bunny hopping. I personally hate bunny hopping. I was scarred by it in Battlefield 2. But you'll notice with this lurk, if I just flap around this room, I don't really go anywhere. It doesn't work. But if I stop flapping and hold spacebar, it works perfectly. And that's if you get the nuance of when to flap, of when you need to seriously modify your trajectory or build up some extra momentum. You'll you sort of get a feel for flying the lurk, and that's the best way. I really I don't think I'll do a tutorial on flying the lurk to get this skill-based movement down pat because, well, just looking at this, you'll be able to tell that I'm not qualified to do a tutorial at all. I'd say the best way to do it is to get in there and have a go and basically just get a feel for it. It's like flying a plane. You need to, have a, you need to learn how to fly as a lurk and, and get a feel for when to flap and when not to flap. But the best advice and the advice Mark gave me was stop flapping, hold down spacebar for God's sake NS2HD and just fly. And hey, it worked really well. So that's what I wanted to show you in this video guys. And I just wanted to point out that it is an example of skill-based movement that I think is really good. It's not like bunny hopping where it's annoying. It's a skill-based movement that's fun to learn and adds to gameplay because the lurk can swoop in and out of rooms, drop gas, and not make any sound. And it's just generally a lot of fun. And it's not pesky to players. It adds to gameplay. So, anyway, uh, please feel free to debate this skill-based movement and bunny hopping if you must on this video's comments and on my profile. Thanks for watching, everyone.